And speaking just quickly on cancel culture, mm -hmm. um, I think it's so interesting, especially in the past three, four months, you know, obviously the biggest name, I guess, is Chris D'Elia that comes to mind. But that's a little bit different, I guess, just because. Yeah, of I'm not as well read up on that one. I know some things, but I don't know if I know the whole. And I mean, no one knows everything, but I, yeah. Yeah, I, I think th what I wanted to mostly get into is, you know, that that has to do with the whole other thing, I think cancel culture with you know past tweets yeah. or past um content that you're talking about i can imagine that now in this very um i don't even know what the word is but uh strict or um a lot of lines and i feel like people feel like you're crossing a line quicker than you might actually be crossing it and perhaps as a comedian and the, that's they don't it, even harder yeah because context should context matter should it not i feel like it should a lot of times yeah. <laughs> so many so many people have podcasts right. and we and people who have prominent podcasts are always doing I, I love doing other people's podcasts but you're basically taking what i say or what everybody says and putting it out there and i think the thing is because i'm really trying to approach this subject in from a non-angry stance because my anger is not going to help um is that i wish like for the chris D'Elia thing for example i wish um i wish we could take the subject of that thing like the subject so the subject is Grown men, why do grown men um, try to solicit a, whatever happened, uh, trying to solicit a nude from a 17-year-old girl? I, we, why can't we just talk about that? Like, that's it, he's not the only one doing that. And there's so many people doing that. And it's happening right now. It happened 80 years ago. So I wish that we could um, not create an environment where people are afraid to talk because my theory is I'm going to say what I want to say. I give so much of a shit what other people, like, about hurting somebody's feelings i really don't want to do it and i and i and if i do i apologize and i know some stand-ups are like i don't apologize cool then you don't have to that is your decision i will fucking apologize because i don't want to hurt somebody and that's my and i think maybe it's oftentimes people will not weaponize that that's too dramatic of a word but because i care they'll just throw more at me than they mm. would corinne yeah. <laughs> and so that's been an interesting lesson but like if somebody comes at you like that we had a listener once, we've had it, it's a bunch we, where we've had listeners say, hey, th they wrote us an email and they're like, you said something last week and it disappointed me and this is why. And this is my experience mm -hmm. and this is why I felt that way. And I, we, we, you know, we would get that type of feedback every so often. And when we did, I'm like, what are, not that there's any way, right way to say, fuck you. But I was, I was really, um, uh, thankful that that person was like hey you know because obviously if they listen to the podcast they kind of have a little bit of an idea of who Corinne and I are you might not have meant it this way but it really um it just like made my it made my heart go in my stomach when you said that and I was like damn it I didn't want to be disappointed in you and I'm like oh, okay thank you for thank you like I like that feedback um with stuff we say on the podcast I don't I'm not ed that edgy with my jokes I'm honest about stuff and I talk about sex stuff but I don't I don't know I don't I don't um push buttons to push them because I don't really enjoy mm. that. That's just not my style. But I think that I wish we would have more conversations about the broader topic instead of just focusing your efforts on um, ending somebody's career. Because first of all, that person is going to be, I, I mean, I don't know. Everybody might react differently to it. But what if that person just goes, fuck the world, fuck everything. I'm going to do it and do it worse or do something else. That's yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I'm making that up as a, as a, hypothetical situation thank you so much for watching if you haven't done so already please make sure you like this video and hit that subscribe button and also follow me on instagram at felix.levine to stay updated on all new content as it comes out